Alright, welcome back to another Touch Designer tutorial from the Tips, Tricks and FAQ series. And in this one I'm going to show you how to use um, audio as a substitute for time or for the apps time or me time dot something expressions. And um, I'm gonna show you that with two different examples, very simple ones, one using noise and one using this little circle going from the left to right and as you can see both of them are uh, influenced by the music or the audio that you input. Um, yeah, I'm gonna, um, we're gonna build this component here so you can easily reuse this <coughs> and um, yeah, I'm just gonna dive right in and show you how to create this. So, <clears throat> I'm gonna start with creating the tops for this. So I'm gonna put in, <clears throat> put a noise here, change the resolution to 1920 by 1080 and change the pixel format to 32 bit float, the period to like five and um, uh, just copy paste this, change the period here to to one and the uh, harmonic spread to like five and then take this and put it in the noise coordinate map so you get this kind of thing now uh, usually I'm just gonna show you how do you, how you you would uh, usually animate this um, so you just put in the Python expression apps time dot seconds or frame uh, times something or not times something but that just to be in control of the speed. So then you can just see uh, the animation that I sh just showed you, basically. But not based on music, just based on time. So um, this is the first thing we're gonna work with. I'm not gonna change uh, more about that. The second one is uh, using a circle. So I'm just gonna drop a circle in here and change the resolution to uh, 1920 by 1080. Just change, also change this to not sure if that's necessary, whatever. And um, then I'm gonna <coughs> change the radius to something way smaller. So, I don't know, something like 0 0.02, sounds good. Um, and then connect this to a transform. And uh, I'm gonna turn, like put this to one and turn the combo over background color on and also connect this to a null and um, I'm just gonna leave that as is for now Oops. all right so now <coughs> I'm gonna drop an audio file in here and uh, you can also use an audio device in if you want to but I'm gonna use an audio file um, to hear this I'm gonna attach a device out as well but we don't need it, need to hear it the whole time, so I'm just going to bypass this. Alright, so the first thing I'm going to do here is to, um, we have, we now have the left and the right channel, and I only want one channel, so I'm going to use the math uh, to combine channels, and use the add function, and um, then I'm going to use an audio filter, to uh, only get low frequencies because in this case uh, I only want frequencies under 500 found that to be a pretty nice spot or like value <laughs> um, so now we're only gonna get uh, values between uh, yeah between 0 and 500 here or like lower than 500 because it's set to low pass all right next thing I'm gonna do is use a, an analyze to uh, get a different kind of uh, channel out of this because I only want a time slice channel and I, I want the, the, the um, volume of the song, of, of the audio input. So that's, uh, I changed this to RMS power so now I get this um, value between 0 and 0 something or 1. We're gonna get back to that in a second. I'm gonna use a filter to kind of, like a normal filter, not an audio filter to smooth out the signal a bit. So I'm going to change the filter width to like 0 0.15 and then I'm going to use a <coughs> um, math again. I'm going to get back to that 
as well and just use a rename to change the chan one to like a for audio and um, then I'm gonna attach a null here and um, on the noise I'm just gonna make this uh, like turn the display on so you can see that in the background and <clears throat> now here on the noise instead of the apps time dot something I'm going to use this value right so now you're gonna get this uh, which is not looking very great but um, yeah what this is basically doing so I'm gonna uh, attach a trail here so we can see this better so what this is doing, um, I'm going to turn on the music as well, is uh, that it's just kind of going between 0 and 1 and just going back and forth here. So with the TZ we're kind of moving inside this noise world, um, but you're just using this value we're just moving back and forth, so like something between 0 and 1. And um, so it's always going back and forth and that doesn't look very nice. So what we want to achieve um, is that this value adds the, like this value is like the the channel, basically like the channel value we get, we want to add that to the previous channel. Um, so there's a chop for that called the speed chop. I'm just going to insert that here and you're instantly going to see that this is working now. And if I take this and put it into the input two here, you can see, uh, maybe understand better what I just said. <laughs> so this is basically taking this value and adding that to itself every time, like all the time. So it's basically like uh, like time, but not linear, like not completely linear, but based on the audio. So time would just go straight up. And this is uh, like kind of taking this value and adding that to here. That, I hope that makes sense. <laughs> and um, <clears throat> now what you can see, this isn't going back and forth as it would like this, but uh, adding that value. And so we are kind of moving deeper, deeper into the noise space, noise world. All right, <clears throat> so, um, what I'm gonna do now <coughs> is, uh, yeah, before I collapse this into a component, I'm gonna show you uh, a little trick to, um, <coughs> yeah, create a, a cool uh, effect, I'd say. So that's just dropping the limit chop in here. And then on the quantize tab, change the quantize value to round. And now if you change this value to something higher, you can get this kind of uh, effect that it stops when there is no uh, when there's too little input so this is like a put this to one so the effect is quite strong so uh, I'm not sure if this is useful to you but I think it's uh, it could definitely be used in a cool way but I'm gonna bypass this for uh, now so we get the smooth signal all right <coughs> so uh, with that in there now I'm going to um, actually remove the trail again because we're not gonna need that for um, for the component and now I'm gonna select all of these except for the null right click anywhere but on the um, piece and then say collapse selected and then we all we have them all in the box <laughs> we have them all in this uh, base here so um, I'm gonna change its, its name to like audio speed chop if you find a better name please take your name and um, now we have all of that in here. If for some reason you don't have the output here, then that's because you don't have the out here. So there definitely needs to be an out at the very end of this network. <coughs> so um, now um, what you can do is go to the palette here and then move, like uh, find your, the my, my components and add a folder. Or if you already have like folders, then you can just use that and drag and drop that in here and always use that again. I already have that, so. All right, <coughs> so um, you can use this uh, value anywhere now. So you can use that here or here to achieve this, uh, like to just uh, basically not use the Z, but uh, the Y uh, value. Um, 
or uh, the uh, it can just show you the uh, second oops, the second example that I showed in the beginning. So for that, I used a just copy kind of like copied the this value and um, oops, use that for uh, the transform here. So I'm just going to put it onto the um, transform X. So now you're going to see the circle disappear first because um, this value is already at 90. So the circle is way off the screen. Uh, there's a cool little trick for that. And that's also using the limit. So um, <coughs> with this limit, I can uh, on the limit tab, just change the type to zigzag. And then um, put this to like 0 0.3 and like minus 0 0.3 and 0 0.3 and now you can see the whatever um, whatever however high this value gets it's always going to be mapped between minus 0 0.3 and 0 0.3 so the circle is always going to move back and forth so I think this kind of shows uh, the concept pretty well and maybe you can use that for something you can also change the type to like loop for example so it's always going to just uh, oh, loop uh, yeah. All right. <clears throat> um, I think that's it for now. If you have any questions, then please feel free uh, to to ask them. Of course, you can use this uh, for a lot of uh, other other things. This this doesn't need to be uh, used on the noise or on the circle. Uh, this could even be used in chops or something. Basically, wherever you would have time to animate something, you can now use this and it will instantly be audio reactive. Alright, so um, I'll see you on the next tutorial.